Good to be you're back. Of course I'm back. Who do you think it was, the Lone Ranger? <laughs> no, but I, I wasn't expecting you till next week. Oh, yes. I thought I could smell cannabis. <laughs> Everything all right, then? Nothing happened while I've been away? No, no. Surveyor's been down, put a few more crosses on the house. Uh, what? <laughs> no, 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 relax, Wizzy. Everything's fine. Well, what's it like, then, to be back from the joys of the Costa Brava? Bloody awful. I think I'm suffering from jet lag. <laughs> that must have done you some good, Rigsby. I mean, travel broadens the mind. Going to strange lands, meeting strange people, eating strange foods. Coming out in strange boils. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, what makes you think we've got to travel to meet strange people? <laughs> hey, hey, did you feed the cat while I was away? Yeah, why? Uh, nothing, only just saw him coming up the dustbin. <laughs> uh, what, was the, uh, what was the food like, Rigsby? Uh, greasy. And the people? About the same. <laughs> You don't sound very excited. Well, I'm not. Ah, frontiers don't mean much to you. Not when you've driven across them like I have in a Churchill tank with all guns blazing. You've got a lot of labels. Yes, yes. I think that'll raise a few eyebrows when I take the washing down the laundress. <laughs> this one says Dubrovnik. Yes, yes, that's right, yes, yes. Well, that's in Yugoslavia. Is it? I wouldn't know. I got them off a case at London Airport. <laughs> What did you do that for? Well, you know what they're like round here, travel snobs. You've got to cross the Sahara on a camel before they take any notice of you. What's the use of putting labels on a case if you've never been to the places? You don't change, do you? Same last year, put GB plates on to go to the Isle of Man. Oh, well, the, 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 they all do it round here. What about the milkman? Eh? Tells him he's taking the night flight to Benidorm. There he is next day, creosote with his mother's fence. <laughs> Are you sure you went to Spain? What do you mean? Of course I went to Spain. You don't look very brown. No, neither would you if you spent the last three days in the police station shouting for the British consul. <laughs> what, you mean you ended up in the cells? No, yes, you can laugh. Uh, you wouldn't have lasted five minutes out there. It's not a democracy, you know. No, no. You try speaking your mind out there, you get a well-polished jackboot in the ribs. <laughs> Why did they arrest you? No, oh, said I was a troublemaker. Just because I pushed this German into the swimming pool. <laughs> what did you do that for? Well, he, he was ex Luftwaffe. All I, all I asked him was if he knew he'd bombed our granny's house, turn into a real little Eric von Strohan. <laughs> Look, Risby, when are you going to realise that the war's over? I mean, travel is to meet people to, from other parts, to understand their habits and customs. I did. I met some very nice lads from Oldham. <laughs> Mind you, they got turfed out in the end, something to do with a missing B-Day. It was that sort of hotel, you and everything came away in your hand, you know. <laughs> <laughs> Mind you, I got me own back. <laughs> yeah. did, um, did you bring anything back, Rigsby? For, for you, don't worry, I didn't forget you. Oh, no, no, I didn't mean... Uh... No, 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 I appreciate you looking after the place, so I got you some brandy and cigars. Oh, I shouldn't have Rigsby. No, 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 you deserved it. I didn't want anything. Good, cos they took them off me going through the customs. <laughs> I wouldn't have minded, but they completely ignored this bloke in front of me with 20 Swiss watches strapped up his arm. Ticking away, he was making more noise in the engines. And the uh, lads from Oldham got the B-Day through. Huh, just your bad luck, I'm afraid. It's all right, Rigsby. Uh, hey, 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 what do you think? <laughs> oh, and, uh, yes, uh, what about that? <laughs> Did it work? <laughs> so you had no problems then while I was away? Uh, no, uh... I let the two empty rooms. Hey, hey, wait a minute. I let the rooms round here, you know. What are they like? Two women. If you're hiding some, they can always tell by the shifty look in your eyes. No, I'm not. I think you're in for a very nice surprise. Oh, yes, we'll see about that. Uh, hey, hey, where are you going? Well, I was just going to warn, uh, tell them you're back. Oh. <laughs> dear, the good boy, Din. Dear. Mrs. Brent. Oh, yes, Helen. I thought I'd better let you know he's back. But you said he wouldn't be back until next week. Well, he shouldn't have been. I think he was deported. Oh. I, I did say it would only be for a few days. Oh, doesn't he like children? No. There's nothing personal. He doesn't like grown-ups, either. Oh. Well, couldn't we appeal to his better nature? Well, I suppose we could, but I don't think he's got one. So, if you could just pack your bags. But we've got nowhere to go. Oh, you can't do this to us. Oh, just look at his little face. <laughs> Yes, he's got a lovely little face. He's got lovely little arms and lovely little legs, but he can't stop here. Oh, but look at him. He's so happy. He's always smiling. He never stops. Well, he will do when he sees Rigsby. <laughs> He'll probably bite straight through his teething ring. <laughs> well, can't you try the social security? Well, as a matter of fact, I was going to look at another room today, but he's across the town and I can't really manage the baby. Oh, look. I can see he likes you. Does it? <laughs> oh, yes, you can always tell. That's why he's blowing those bubbles. Well, I do have this way with children. Oh, good. <laughs> then I can leave him with you. <laughs> now, don't forget his bottle. I won't be long. Excuse me, miss. I wonder... 
Miss Jones! <laughs> Mr. Rigsby! Oh, 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 Miss Jones! Oh, you've come back then! Yes, Mr. Rigsby. Oh. I hope you don't mind, only Alan said... Mine, of course I don't <laughs> mind, Miss Jones. Oh, it'll be just like the old days. Oh, oh, oh no... Uh, no wedding bells, then? Uh, no, I'm afraid not, Mr. Uh, Rigsby. I'm afraid it didn't quite work out. Uh, I realised I'd made a mistake. There was someone I was trying to forget, but I couldn't. Yes, I can't understand, Mr. Rigsby. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I thought of writing, but letters don't really say it, do they? No. It's the same during the war I wrote to this girl, all through the desert in Italy, through the, the heat and the flies, the din of desert battle. Yes, never missed once. Oh, how romantic, Mr. Rigsby. Yes, must have written a dozens of letters. But it didn't work out. No, 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 no. She, she married the postman. <laughs> We both had our disappointments, Mr. Rigsby. Yes, Rinsby. yes, I tried to forget mine. I, uh, I went to Spain. Yes, Alan told me. Mm. You're not very brown. No, no, no. I tried to lose myself in an excess of gaiety and olive oil, but uh, all I got was boils. <laughs> and then I thought of you, Miss Jones. Oh, surely not, Mr. Rigsby. Not surrounded by all those flashing-eyed senoritas. Ah, oh, they couldn't hold a candle to you, Miss Jones. <laughs> I've never been to Spain, Mr. Rigsby. I understand it's very romantic and that the Spaniards can be very hot-blooded. That is very true, Miss Jones. Yes, yes, I understand they won't take no for an answer. Absolutely. I've seen it with my own eyes. No woman is safe out there. Really? Mm. Where was this, Mr. Rigsby? <laughs> I'll show you, Miss Jones. I'll, I'll bring up my holiday snaps. Oh, I'd I? love to see them. Oh, it'll be just like the old days. Oh, Miss Jones. Oh, <laughs> oh yes. Philip. <laughs> oh, Philip. Well, what, what it's about, so uh, good to see what, 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 what about the snaps, Miss Jones? The, the snaps? The holiday. Oh, <laughs> Philip, Mr. Rigsby's just come back from Spain. Uh, oh, you're not very brown, Rigsby. <laughs> <laughs> Do you have to do that, Rigsby? Are you feeling all right? <laughs> don't you have a knock? That's all right, don't get so touchy. As a matter of fact, I came up here to thank you. I know we've had our differences in the past and uh, had me doubts about leaving you in charge here, but I just wanted to thank you for looking after Miss Jones. Uh, especially after what's happened, I suppose you heard that um, all off the marriage. Uh, uh, so I just thought I'd... Um... <laughs> what's this? What? Yes, yes. It's like a baby's bottle. It's a test tube. It's got, <laughs> it's got milk in it. Well, I've run out of cups. <laughs> what's, what's that? What's that smell? What smell? Quite, quite pleasant, like, like a new bread. What is it? <laughs> what's this? A rusk. What do you want with a rusk? I like rust. <laughs> Rusks, baby's bottle. My, I've got a bird of being retarded. This is ridiculous. <laughs> you get a sudden desire to roll on your back and suck your big toe. Resist it. Rust to beginning to work. <laughs> the sooner you're back on cannabis, the better. <laughs> I'm not on cannabis. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it's a baby. Yeah. Well, what's it doing here? You know the rules. I'm looking after it for someone. Look at who in the right mind has left you in charge of a baby? That's a fact, he likes me. Yeah, you can see why. Can't you all that hair? He thinks you're his mother. <laughs> um, who is his mother, anyway? Just a friend. Uh. Oh. <laughs> oh. What are you staring at? It's the nose, a dead giveaway. <laughs> what do you mean? The likeness is on. Can you? The spitting image. Oh, God, what did you do? Throw caution to the winds, did you? No, I didn't throw caution to the winds. Why didn't you come to me, you silly fool? Well, what did I come to you the for? The times I've seen you hanging around that chemist, they're all tongue-tied, stammering. <laughs> Wait half an hour for the bloke to serve you, then come out clutching a bottle of Lucas, eh? Now look at you. <laughs> It's not my baby. His mother's a respectable woman. Oh, yes. His father's in the Merchant Navy. Ah! Yes. Oh, I'm sorry, I'm not having that noise in the house, so you either get him out or you're out. Uh... Ah! 
What have you got there? It's a baby. <laughs> well, I didn't think it was your Mickey Mouse hot water bottle. <laughs> what are you doing with it? I'm looking after it for someone. Well, it can't stop here. I've got work to do. Well, don't you start. It won't be for long. Look at his little face. I don't want to look at his little face. Go on, look. <laughs> oh, so that's it. No, that's not it. It's the nose. Look, it's not the nose. <laughs> Rigsby already thinks the baby's mine. Well, he's not going to think it's mine. You realise this is the first time I won't get the blame round here. <laughs> Look, you've got to help me. It belongs to the woman downstairs. If Rigsby finds out I've let the room to them, he'll murder me and he mustn't find the baby here when he gets back. Well, what do you suggest we do? Sit on it? <laughs> I've got to do something. Well, what about Ruth? Do you think she would? She's a woman, isn't she? I suppose so. <laughs> Ruth? Oh, Philip. Um... I wonder if you could help me. Of course, Philip. I've got this little problem. And you need a woman's touch. <laughs> oh, I don't know how you ever managed without me. What is it? <clears throat> My God, a baby! We wondered if you could look after it for us, Ruth. But I don't know anything about babies. You don't have to. We'll follow your instincts. I am doing. Oh, just hold it, Ruth. <laughs> no, I'll drop it. No, you won't. Yes, I will. I dropped one at a christening once. It plummeted into the font and saturated the vicar. Oh, come on, Ruth, you're a woman. You must know something about babies. I don't, honestly. The only experience I had was with a hamster. Oh, look. <laughs> oh. Hey, look at that, Philip. Isn't that incredible? Yes, the natural way he clings to her. He's gone pink. <laughs> he wasn't that colour when he came in. I think he stopped breathing. No, no, he's just holding his breath. He's not the only one. <laughs> he belongs to the woman across the landing, doesn't he? I told her Rigsby won't allow babies. It won't be for long. I'll go and get his cot. You know, you're a wonderful sight, Ruth. What? The quiet strength, the gentle dignity. Uh, you can see he feels secure. Do you really think so? Yeah. You know, there's a certain Madonna-like quality about you, Ruth. Oh. <laughs> Don't forget to change him. No. <laughs> Wait the snotches, Miss Jones. Wait the snotches, Mr. Rigsby. Oh, late. Okay. <laughs> yes, I brought me, uh, I brought me, hang on, Miss Jones. Oh. Um, uh, <laughs> I brought me holiday snaps, oh, uh, yes. Miss Jones. Yes, there we are. Now then. <laughs> you know, that, 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 that's an interesting one. That's, uh, that's the, uh, the nightclub which was attached to the hotel. Yes, at least it was when I left. It looks very elegant. Yes, yes. Mind you, that was before the trouble started. What trouble? <laughs> yes, well, it's this old Spanish custom, Miss Jones. You may know it. It's a, a drinking from a goat skin, yes. Oh. You're supposed to direct a jet of wine straight into your mouth. Oh, I understand. <laughs> that's very difficult. Yes, it is. Very, yes, yes. Most of mine went into this woman's ear hole. <laughs> Who are these two men in uniform walking towards the camera? No, they're the police, Miss Jones. Yes. Well, they seem to be scowling. Yes, they never did laugh a lot. Oh, and what's this gaunt, ugly building? Uh, that's the police station. What's this cross on one of the windows? My room. <laughs> well, Mr. Rigsby, perhaps I could look at them later. Yes, I must oh, get ready for yes, work. Yes, all right. Now. I'm sorry. I didn't realise they were going to be busy. <laughs> huh? The baby, Miss Jones. <laughs> Well, what, uh, what, what's it doing up here? Well, I'm looking after it for someone, Mr. Rigsby. Looking after it for, for someone? Yes, yeah, so if you'll excuse me. Yeah. Yes, ma'am. Yeah. Hey, hey, you, you're about that baby. Uh, oh. yeah. Uh, well, it's back with its mother, Rigsby. <laughs> making too much noise. No, no, of course not, Miss Jones. He's only exercising his little lungs, isn't he? Yes. What are you, what are you doing, Miss Jones? I'm changing him. Uh, oh. <laughs> oh, my word, he's certainly a boy. <laughs> uh, Mr. Rigsby. Yes, yes. yes, nothing to worry about there. <laughs> he's certainly beautifully made. Yes, 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 all fully equipped. <laughs> Oh. I think under the circumstances, we ought to offer a few words of admiration. <laughs> admiration, no, Michelle? Yes, it encourages them, keeps them regular. Ah, we always had sit-up of figs. <laughs> <laughs> Who's a clever boy, though? Yes, well, he's certainly a beautiful baby, Miss Jones. Obviously takes after his mother. <laughs> oh, you know his mother? Uh, yes, yes, I think so. <laughs> so our little secret's out? 
Yes, yes, I'm afraid so, Miss Jones. And you don't mind? <sighs> well, uh, no, no, I must say I did it first, and then I thought, no, no, I, I mustn't sit in judgment, and, and I realise how tough it is to bring up a child on your own these days. Oh, that's very sweet of you, Mr Rixby. No, not at all, Miss I must say I would like to know a little more about the father. He's in the Merchant Navy. Uh, yes, yes, I believe so. And you feel that's all you want to tell me? Well, I've only seen him once. That was by the light of his cigarette. <laughs> he seemed quite nice. He seemed quite nice. Is that all you can say? Well, what's the matter, Mr. Rigsby? Nothing, Miss Jones. <laughs> well, I suppose these things happen. <laughs> You're obviously a born mother. He certainly trusts you. Oh. <laughs> Who's a bunny boy? Who's a bunny boy? <laughs> I always thought you didn't like children, Mr. Rick. I was wondering if gave you that idea. But no, I love them. Love them. No. In fact, I was Father Christmas every year at the British Legion till they, till they said fire to my beard. Oh. <laughs> no, I'm very fond of the little fellas. Oh, my goodness me. Look at the yes. time. In fact, uh, people have often said to me how good I am with babies. Oh, I'm so <laughs> glad, Mr. Rick. Perhaps in that case, you could look after him for a little what? You see, no. I've got to go to work. Yes, but, 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 but you won't be changing for another hour. Yes, but, 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 but. He just won't stop. It's perfectly normal, Rick's Yeah, I'm not so sure. What do you, what do you think, Philip? I don't know. He's a funny colour. What are we going to do? I mean, what are you going to do? We're trying to work. No, look, you can't take that out. You look at the poor little fella. Look at him. He's a lovely boy, then. He's a lovely boy. He looks rather plain to me. Well, he would to you, wouldn't he? Suppose if he had half a dozen rings round his neck covered with war paint, you'd think he was mad. <laughs> you do not really call him handsome, though, Rigsby. Yes, well, his veins are standing out at the moment, aren't they? Looks like a little old man. Shut up in here, yeah. <laughs> Anyway, you can't judge at that age. They often grow out of it. I mean, now, you, you may not believe this, but I wasn't very good looking as a baby. <laughs> In fact, some people might even have said I was an ugly duckling. <laughs> but, but, the, but the ugly duckling grew up, didn't he? Didn't the ugly duckling grow up? Yes, yes, yes. And what did he turn into? An ugly duck. <laughs> no. What have we... Should we try singing to him? Why should we sing to him? Yes, why well, should we? Because I'll put your rent up if you don't. Come on. <laughs> uh, oh, 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 my nanny, my curly head. No, oh, my nanny, my, my curly head. Come on, come on. We wouldn't have this trouble from Paul Robeson. Come on. Oh, oh my nanny, my curly head. Daddy, your daddy's in the cotton fields of working for his place. Work. He stopped. Oh, you frightened him. No, I didn't. Of course you did. It's all right. The dark gentleman didn't mean it. No, no, no. No, he's that colour because he comes from where the sun's very hot. Yes. And he has to be heat resistant like the non stick pan. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. It's all right. He won't eat you. No, no, no. His dad might have, but he won't. Oh, my goodness, man. My God, listen, we're Rigsby. <laughs> hey, that's on, isn't it? We might just catch it if we up. Come on, there's a good boy. There's a good boy. Oh, but he's off again. Come on. You don't think he's getting too carried away, do you? Can you pretend that we're the wind? Come on, puff out your cheeks and blow. <laughs> good, big blow like the north wind. Oh, Look at this coming along. A big round ball bouncing in the wind. Oh, yes, yes. We'll round and we'll bounce and bounce and bounce and bounce and bounce. There. But who's this chasing the ball? It's Rover the dog. It bloody would be. Yeah. 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 <laughs> what do you want? <laughs> Thought this might help. <laughs> Big Bunny. Hello, little chap. It's Big Bunny come to see you. Hello, he's a lovely boy. Hey, he likes this. Yes, yeah, give it to me. Give it to me. Why? Because I say so then. And I could see your lips moving. <laughs> You're getting very possessive. Look, Mr. I'm in charge of it at the moment. Anyway, you'll be a bad influence on him. You'll take too much LSD. Try walking through a wall with him. <laughs> you, you, 
didn't suppose you'd be a good influence on him. What about the night before you went away? You came home drunk. What makes you think I was drunk? You had a traffic cone on your head. <laughs> anyway, I could do a lot for this lad. Sure, so sure. Well, give him some of the things I never had. Decent education for a start. I, I, I was sent to school with bread and dripping and a stubby pencil. Oh, yes. All the other lads had fountain pens in the top pockets, not me. <laughs> you mean you didn't even have a fountain pen? Didn't even have a top pocket. <laughs> That's why I never got invited to the parties. Laughing the gumboots. Yes, yeah, so I saw all the others going off. Oh, yes, all the little girls with their silver shoes and the boys in the party slippers giving each other great zunkers at, at postman's knock. I was outside, the face at the window. Yeah. Be different for him. Perhaps win a scholarship. Winchester Bailey, seat in the cabinet, eh? Seat in the cabinet. Do you think you're getting carried away, Rigsby? What do you mean? Well, he's got a father, you know. He doesn't oh, need you. We'll see about that. What do we see about that? What do we see about that? Oh, there. I wondered where the little shaver had got to. Ah, uh, you. You've come back then? Yes. Who are you? I'm the landlord. I thought you looked a bit old for a babysitter. <laughs> How's you been keeping then? All right, all right. Hey, hey, hey don't, don't, don't lift him up. He's not a duffel bag, you know. I always lift him up like that. No, well, don't blame me if he grows up with his head on one side, then. <laughs> I am his father, you know. Yes, yes, I know. I'm just surprised you showed up, that's all. Well, what do you mean? Uh, I mean, do you think it's going to be any good coming back like this, opening up old wounds? What? Look, sit, sit down, sit down. So let me give you a bit of advice, shipmate. You, 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 you mustn't settle down. You're not a, You can't tie yourself down like this. You're not a family man. I'm not. No, I mean, you're wedded to the sea. You'll never be here when he wants you. I could come ashore. No, oh, what good lad. I can tell the sea's in your blood, isn't it? I mean, once you, once you, you hear the, the sound of the wind through the shrouds and smell the salt breezes coming off the marsh, you'll be away. Off, away to those faraway places with strange-sounding names. Well, I don't know about that. I'm only on the cross-channel ferry. <laughs> Now, no, don't, don't lean in. You'll frighten him. No, I won't. He knows me. Of course he doesn't know you. That's what I'm trying to tell you. As far as he's concerned, you're just a sailor with a big hooter. <laughs> oh, God. I don't know what she saw in you. I oh, got a woman of her refinement. Mind you, she did say it was dark. Well, wait a minute. What's she been saying? Oh, well, she was bound to confide in me. <laughs> I knew before you, you know. Oh, yes. We had an understanding. Oh, did you? Hey, now look. Now just... No! No! Upset the baby. I'm sorry, Miss Jones, but it's this geezer. Yeah. It's Jolly Jack Tardy. It's on a time into a clovich. Well, stop at the pair of you. You'll upset. Oh, what's his name? David. You'll upset David. Oh, really, Miss Jones, I've heard him being absent minded, but surely you can remember your own baby's name. What? I'm not his mother. You, you're not, not his. <laughs> so that's it. You thought David was hers. Oh, how Mr. Rigsby, how could you? There must have been some misunderstanding. Well, there Ms. certainly Jones. was, Mr. Rigsby. Well, certainly well, thank God for that. He had me worried for a minute. <laughs> I... Jim, what are you doing here? Oh, it's all right, love. Mr. Rigsby's been looking after David. Oh, uh, thank you. Oh, you're the, uh, the, the mother. Mrs. Brent. Mrs. Brent. But I thought Mr. Rigsby didn't like babies. Oh, don't worry, Mrs. Brent. Mr. Rigsby adores babies, don't you, Mr. Rigsby? Yes, yes, of course. Of he course. says he can stay as long as he likes. Isn't that kind of him? Yes, yes. Well, you know me, Miss Jones, all heart. Mm. Oh, well, this is a surprise. <laughs> Alan said you were such a misery. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the little tinker. <laughs> Did he indeed? <laughs> you Mr. Rigsby? I want to give Big Bunny a bit of exercise. <laughs>